Hello, this is Mustang from Wandsource.com, and today I'll be doing a video commentary on our recent XFX match on train. We start off the match playing as counter terrorist. As you will see, I will be mostly controlling the ladder room with a close M4 or with a passive op. I will explain how to control the ladder room as well as counter aggressing, drawing nades, and quick rotating. Going into this match, I'm going to play a very aggressive first round to basically set the pace for the next few rounds. Doing this basically puts the ball on my court for the next few rounds. If they get around that ladder, they got to hesitate to go down because they might, I might be down there. Or they're going to have to nade, flash, whatever, whatever it is. They're wasting nades, and that's to my advantage. So, let's get started. If you're watching the Source TV demo, start the demo right now. Okay, starting out here, uh, like I said, I'm going to be playing very aggressive. First thing I do, um, that's uh, not normal, is I'm not going to be buying any head armor this round. It's because I'm not going to be behind any structures or anything like that, and I don't want to, you know, waste 350 bucks. So first thing I'm going to be doing here is uh, taking out a flash, flashing over that little brick. So I'm, I got cover from uh, T-Connector, and that T-Connector guy will be flashed, and I just push right up. Now Mike gets two picks when I'm in ladder room, so I go straight up, and uh, I start my flank, and it, it pays off because I'm able to pick off dubs with the bomb here. Now at this point, I don't know where any of the other two guys are. They could be in back crawls, or they could be in bathroom. I just picked a uh, bathroom and was able to spot one, but I'm still unsure of the other one. So I'm, I, I want to hold my position here, but I don't want to get picked off, so... I'm just running around here trying to check everything. Now, when Deppy started to flash me at that point, I didn't know if I was going to get pinched or not. I, I wanted to make a move because if I didn't, I was either going to get pinched or pushed by Deppy. So I made the move, was able to pick off Deppy. And right now, we're in a, a huge advantage here. With a 5v1, we have Bomb down. And this guy is nowhere to be found. He's most likely going to be saving. But at this point, this guy makes a mistake and actually runs around below ladder instead of walking. So we know where this guy is. And right now, I'm going to catch him off guard here by going down ladder and um, taking him out after time. I waited after time so he didn't get any money there. And I also threw that smoke down just in case he was in there. He would have to turn around and I could just go down there and shoot him. Now this room, they know I'm going to be, I played uh, very aggressive that round, so I'm going to do my usual flash and play a little more passive here. I'm just going to get on the back of ladder train and wait for them to make the move, and then when they do make the move, I'll do some counter nades and uh, push them back. Right now, um, they're uh, up in the white halls, it seems like, and they decided to smoke uh, ladder room. So... What I do is I, uh, I smoke into that smoke. That way they can't get down there with an op or an AK and pick around. And I also go out to check just to make sure nobody got down. Now that I know nobody's really in there, I just check to see if that smoke ran out because uh, they're starting their executes inside. But I decide to go through Z since those smokes are still uh, full bloom. Now once we get in Z, me and John uh, double nade onto bomb train to try to pick off that bomber. It's a very good idea to do that on inside of train because he doesn't really have much uh, place to go after he plants. He usually needs a flash to get out into a good position. And I'll usually wait for that instead of just jumping out and getting picked by an upper. So right now, you'll see it was a 2v1. And um, me and Griff uh, basically just pushed that guy both at the same time from different angles and collapsed on him. That way he had to be peeking at one of us and he was able to pick off Grant while, I, while uh, I flanked him basically and just shot him in the head and went down and defused. When you're in that situation it's good to push guys back there. If you, if you don't know where they are you want to clear things as fast as possible. You don't want to give that guy any time, any headroom to actually make a move and whatnot. You want to keep pushing, find out locations, clear them and then call new ones. Now at this point, they didn't know I was actually playing on back a ladder last round, so I played there again, but I made a huge mistake here. I made the right move at first by uh, spotting, doing some counter needs, making the call. I gave uh, that call out, and Nick was able to pick that guy in there, but my mistake was I was actually pushing in there to nade up, and I sat there after I got naded the first time around, 
and it ended up uh, with me dead. I should have moved out once I actually got nated. But uh, I decided to stay in there for uh, just a little bit too long. Now here you'll see Nick. He does an excellent job at controlling that inside uh, in that 2v3. He's jumping up and down because he's the only one inside and he's just checking upper and lower. And he's able to get that first pick off on the lower guy, you know, making it a 2v2. And we actually have the advantage now because they have to plant. Now since this is a 2v2 and he gets the call off and the guy has to plant, that's when you want to make the move because it's a 2v1 at that point. They can only have one gun shooting at you and you want to make that move by either on the bomber, killing the bomb, and or killing the open guy. You most likely want to kill the bomber though. But once they actually start to plant, you want to make the, uh, the move right then. That way you have the advantage. Now third round here, I, uh, I was going to be playing on back of ladder again since I didn't get spotted there. But I ended up taking a, a huge amount of damage from Z. And I made the right move by coming back here and getting on back at Sunshine, which is that white train, and basically just peeking down a uh, flatbed and waiting for them to push up. But my mistake was I didn't actually push up far enough. I just sat there on the back of bomb train and waited. And what I should have done was either try to get um, under that train or on back of bomb, somewhere where I actually had protection from, you know, one shot that would have killed me or that nade that, that uh, took me out. Now, fourth round here, we decided to do something a little bit different and uh, smoke up the actual ladder train. That way, if they try to come out, they are in double smoke because me and uh, Juan are in double smoke in that. And luckily for us, they actually do come out. So what we do is uh, we make the call, and I start a nade pattern here, and uh, flash and push. Basically, I'm able to pick that guy off. He's in double smoke. And I start to fall back, but another guy comes out and picks me off. But luckily, uh, Juan was there to trade the kill, and we're up uh, on the man. Now right now, Nick gets two kills on uh, the three guys coming out alley while Hackshot gets up in uh, heaven and takes out a few of our guys. And it's a 2v1 now. We know where this guy is and we know he's low. So um, Nick and uh, Griff make the correct move here and what they do is they kind of watch uh, both the front and back of bomb because the bomb's down right there if you saw on Nick's screen. The bomb was down right at that corner. He has to come to it, and with 12 seconds left, he's not going to have much time to do pretty much anything. They both uh, keep him off uh, around that bomb with their with their uh, double peaks. But once he gets that bomb, and once the time starts to get um, a little bit low, they they made the right move. They start to split up and just hide, kind of. So if one of them die, the other guy will be alive before that time runs out and uh, there's really no time for that bomb to actually get down. Now this round I'm going to be opping. Um, they know I was playing up close with an M4 for the past four rounds so I want to adapt to it and I want to pick up an op and hopefully they come out and instead of them coming ladder they go one by one and then side kinda. It's uh, not, the, not the calls but we didn't know where they were and they kept going one by one so you'll see me kinda on the quick rotate as soon as that call is made and then an updated call saying okay it was only one so I start going back when you're in the rotate position you you want to do that sometimes um, getting that quick rotate even you know three or four footsteps is gonna is gonna matter for you getting them to inside and helping those guys out so as soon as a call is made Especially since I was on the back of bomb, I didn't really have much to worry about. So I just quickly rotated. And once the updated call got back, I went straight back. And the same thing happened until I got the call to actually come inside when the bomb was down. Now, I'll be playing the same way this round. Um, they didn't spot me yet on that back of uh, bomb with the app. So I'll just be playing the same way. One thing you'll notice is I'm, I'm aiming really high. And, and that's because when they come out a ladder, usually it's an 8K, and he's going to want to jump up on top of the uh, the ladder train so he doesn't get picked by an opper. So what I do is I aim a little bit high right for when he jumps, and I'm usually able to pick him off. 
this round, what they do is a five-man Deagle Rush save uh, Alley. And we have a few miscons. We had a few nades to each other, but we did get the right call out that they were all coming Alley, and we all rotated, and we swarmed that Alley together, basically. Um, we had a few mistakes. We let them in front of Alley and let them run around for a little bit, where we should have been getting flashes and nades out, but overall we made the right play there. And only one of us died, which was Nick, which uh, probably was only because I uh, uh, got a miscom and naded him. So I'll be doing the same thing here uh, for this round. They uh, didn't spot me at all for the past two rounds doing this, so I'm I'm fine playing here until they spot me and try to adapt. So I'll just be playing here, and I get a call to come inside. We already have two guys inside, and they're both on lower. So I call that I'll be a late upper. And what I do is I go up along here, start to get flashed. I'm able to pull out a lucky shot here. I just fire when I'm uh, blind and was able to pick off the guy that was pushing me. And now since I have uh, a high position and I'm able to see pretty much the whole site, I could just run around and pretty much just call either um, them sitting under bomb train or um, under another train and just pick off people basically at that uh, position. There are already a lot of men down here and um, tech right now is on the flank now we make a mistake here we we give him some kills instead of like kind of falling back and and watching those entrances we know we knew where he was we kind of pushed up on him and tried to get that kill although it would have been with that amount of time left there really wasn't any chance for him to win um, you don't want to really just assume that there's no chance for him to win and what we did there was wrong. We pushed them, and a few of us died. And at the very end, we should have split up, me and uh, Juan, but we kind of stayed by each other. So if he got some really nice shots off, he would have got us. Uh, this round, they did their 5 nade Z again, and I had a few uh, missed shots there. I hesitated on the first shot, and I missed it. But I quickly call it and rotate lower, and I'm able to pick off uh, that lower guy. And then as soon as I uh, get down there, I need the bomb train. Now I I know I killed the bomber with that uh, bomb with uh, the bomb planning, and what I should have done instead of like pushing up that way is I should have gone all the way over to the upper ramp and picked up there because we already had three three guys right there, and all of our rotates were going to be coming through Z. So my mistake there was I stuck with a group instead of like spreading out and checking all the lanes because I had the op, I had the quick rotate. So what I should have been doing was going all the way up to the upper ramp, checking down all those lanes, and um, basically just making sure none of them pushed up from behind us. So basically, um, when you're when you're the rotate, you want to make sure that you're you're spotting stuff like that, and also uh, you want to make sure that you get the quickest rotate possible when the calls are made. Uh, for quick rotate position. You don't necessarily have to, um, you know, flank them all the time with ladder and whatnot. You can go with the ladder, but they're usually going to have that guy up there, and it's really just you're you're playing the lotto whether you're going to get killed by that guy or not. So it's a good idea to just go through Z, get some double nades off on that uh, bomb on the bomb train before the bomb goes down, uh, kill that bomber and you just gain yourself another six or seven seconds before they can get the bomb down one of them is going to have to come out from under a train to go get the bomb you can pretty much just pick them off um, so whenever you're rotating to the inside site of train make sure the first thing you do is uh... nade the actual bomb train before and as long as the bomb isn't down nade the actual bomb train and that will also give you enough time for all your teammates to rotate so basically you're going to have your whole team in there the bomb's going to be down of course a few of them are going to be hiding under train so you don't necessarily want to push up too fast once you get that bomb down but you want to like slowly check under all the trains have your AKs push or not AKs but M4s push up and um, basically the ops just post up on the lower ramp and the upper ramp and you of course want to have one guy watching your flank so that's the easiest way to actually win a fast inside like that is just to have your ro rotates come through and nade the bomb and then uh, post up either on lower ramp or upper ramp or pick the guys pick off the guys that are pushing up 
but that last round, what uh, what basically happened for us is even though I did make a mistake, uh, we did have the upper hand. Hack shot just made some really nice shots on us, uh, is all, and um, that's gonna happen. So there's not much you can do about that. But we made the right plays overall, and we came out on top of uh, that half. Okay. We're going to be starting second half here, and um, you're basically going to be watching me use the AK for the, for the only four rounds here. Since the CVOP rules, once we actually win, we don't play out, so there's only going to be four actual T-side rounds here. But um, you're going to be seeing me AK, and you're going to be seeing us start out with a 2-1-2, just a simple 2-1-2, to start, to start out to see how they play their oppers, to see how they rotate and whatnot. And to basically just get a gist of uh, how they're playing it so we can quickly adapt and uh, find their weakness and exploit it. So right now we're going to start at Tech 7500, starting the demo right now. And you're going to see me and Nick head straight to the ladder room. I have full nades in AK, of course, and Nick is in front of me here. Uh, Nick should really uh, wait for me to go down the ladder first to cover it or to uh, clear it but he had a really good spawn so he he used it but what happened was he got flashed and he uh, became pretty much immobile because I was right, be right behind him and I was right next to him so he couldn't move left or right and he was full blind and I couldn't move left or right so it was just a bad situation there but you do want to, if you're sending two ladder, you do want to both get down there to help each other out. Um, it wouldn't have been a good idea if I just sat above there and let him die. But it just turned out to be bad in that situation. Deppy had some uh, a nice running spray there and picked me off and then was able to eventually pick Nick off. Or not, or not Nick, but um, he was eventually able to just uh, get that pick and fall back. So... Right now, at that point, um, I, I didn't want to adapt. I didn't want to try anything new on ladder because I, I felt that I was uh, just kind of got unlucky on that. So we did the same thing here. Um, instead of Nick going down, he picks the upper, and I go down ladder first, but immediately get hit with a flash, get full blind. And Deppy does a good job at posting me up on that back of ladder train and picking me off. He made a good play there, and he played it right. He was very aggressive at first, and once he set that aggressive tone, he fell back and picked from back of bomb. Um, I didn't necessarily waste any nades going down there, but uh, if he would have been pushed up, I would have been ready for it that time. So he made a good play on falling back a little bit and playing a little far back, a little more passive. Um, right now you'll see... Uh, let's see, Paradox and Griff in a 2v4, 2v3 here. And they know where they are. They should have fell back, but they don't have much time. So right now, they got to make a play around Alley. And what they do is they decide to go back a bomb. Um, with the limited time, uh, that that was the most, pretty much the only thing they could do. They couldn't really go out front because there was way too much stuff to clear with only 20 seconds left. But at the same time, back of a uh, bomb area, you got us opera always on CT Swan stairs. So um, it was really just a lose lose situation there. Th if they would have made some good shots and good plays, they would have got it. But um, with probability, they, they wouldn't have had that round. So instead, uh, for this round, instead of um, going down ladder so fast, uh, me and Nick decide to take inside a little bit slower and see if uh, a pick is uh, given to us and someone shows themselves. And if they don't, we're going to go back to ladder. We don't want to go down ladder too fast this time. We want to adapt. We are getting picked off at ladder um, too fast there, so we're going to give it a little more time and then go down. Hopefully Deppy uh, wastes some of his nades and whatnot at ladder. But um, right now, Nick and me are heading down pretty much the same time and picking uh, around looking for a pick basically I spot a guy under the flatbed now as soon as I get this kill this is a very very important um, as soon as you get a kill like that inside you want to push to the very back with your flashes your team's going to be flashing you're going to be flashing they're going to be blind and you can pick them off like this right when they're rotating they had no clue 
that I was up there that fast. That's why you want to get up there as fast as possible once you get that pick before those rotators get in. That way the, uh, you can get that bomb down and all your guys get set up pretty much and you can pick off a few people and hopefully the rotators like I did. And e Either way, if I would have died, that would have gave my team a, an extra two or three seconds to get that bomb down and to, and to also get into pos uh, some position there. But uh, we came out with that round there. I had some uh, nice shots on those guys um, when they were blind. So right now we only need one round to win. And what we uh, decided to do is with our spawns is uh, nade into Z. Now as soon as we go out here, we get a pick with a nade, and we're pretty much all blind here for a second. And then uh, Griff pulls out another pick. So what I'm gonna do here is since it's a five v three and we have outer control. I'm the, f I'm the only AK by the ladder, so I immediately go to ladder to watch the flank. We have the upper advantage um, outside, so they don't necessarily need me there. We just had a few miscons also, and Nick ended up flashing me. But right now we have a perfect setup, and uh, I'm just watching the ladder flank while they're picking people off here. As I noticed, nobody's coming ladder flank, and a call is made Z, so I, I rotate out of there. Now, either way, if nobody would have came uh, through that, uh, or either way, if nobody would have flanked, um, I wanted to stay in that ladder room because that's like a last man standing position for when the bomb's planted. You want to keep a guy back there usually because he can just pick off the bomb uh, diffuser at the very last second, and chances are he's not going to get killed unless the guy gets a good shot on him. If he uses his time correctly, he can win the round pretty much every time. Um, usually, in that situation, uh, when you're at the ladder train, what you're going to want to do is once uh, you know they get out into that uh, bomb yard and your team starts getting picked off and there's nobody coming flank, you want to help uh, your team out while they're trying to get out, you know, trying to pick them. But if your team gets picked off like that, um, what you're going to want to do is get up on top of that uh, backup uh, ladder train and just try to kill that diffuser and waste his time as much as possible. He's not going to want to diffuse while you're sitting there. The bomb's right there. He can't, he can't um, just like push up on you or he's going to waste another 10, 10 seconds just doing that. So what he's going to have to do is try to nade you or flash you. So you're going to be you want you want to be aware that if you got low health, you want to dip back into that ladder room and then just peek out randomly. But uh don't don't expose yourself too much and make sure you're peeking every like 4 seconds, I'd say. That way you can pick off that bomb uh diffuser if he's diffusing and uh you can also check out the area, see where he's at and whatnot. But um that's the end of the match, and I, I hope you guys learned a lot about playing ladder and uh, getting down ladder and using counter nades and quick rotates for that ladder position. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you.